The countdown has begun. Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. So I've been a little bit timid, you know, to start the countdown here to Bitcoin having, but we're, you know, less than three days to go, or you could say 380 blocks. So I thought, we're, you know, we're close enough <laughs> to talk about it, right? You know, straight off the bat, I want to say that the countdown is not a countdown to crypto prices exploding, right? <laughs> um, we're counting down to this big event that is going to change the way that Bitcoin operates, right? And of course, that is going to affect the whole cryptocurrency market because there's this trickle down effect that happens that we've seen historically where money goes into Bitcoin because it becomes more scarce and the fact that the supply decreases by 50% does not mean that the price automatically will go up. For that, you need demand. If there's no demand, if people are not buying, then the price is not going to go up, right? Uh, but I think that the market is a lot more smarter. Is that, is that, that's bad grammar, right? <laughs> Is, is more intelligent about the way the market works than previous cycles. Maybe I'm, I'm wrong about that. The only thing that's kind of a thorn in the crypto market uh, side is the whole geopolitical situation. Now, on the one hand, you'd be like, well, you know, Israel, you know, react, do something so we can just, you know, see what happens. The whole market is like, hurry up and wait, meaning that it doesn't know what's going to happen after two days of crazy movements, right? It's just pretty much flat. So the question is, what's going to happen here? We also had something interesting about Elon Musk. Is he going to start with his shenanigans again? And do I think this is a bad thing or a good thing? We'll talk about that as well. And about Shiba Inu, of course. All I ask is that you give me a beautiful smile. Smishity smash that like button and let's do the Shiba Shake. So currently the price of Shiba Inu is at 0 0.402236 down minus 1.37% on the day. But like I, I mentioned uh, before, you can see the past four days have been basically uh, around this zone here, the 223, 224, right? It's been consolidating in this area after we saw the sell-off. You could say that Shiba Inu has this uh, declining uh, trend, right? Or this, you know, we've seen historically that when assets will break through a big a downtrend like this, they move to the upside right but the question is can it break out of it right you can see it hit one two times and potentially if we do see a movement to the upside if we're looking at the stochastic fill if we're looking at what's happening then that breakout could potentially get us back to the 3000 level you know i want to talk about the 3000 before we talk about you know the 4500 which was the the local high and you know beyond that all-time highs but we're I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit here um we are close to bitcoin having so there's 380 blocks remaining it's about two days and 12 hours did you notice i just noticed this uh, this morning <laughs> maybe that's because i'm an old man already <laughs> that it's uh, april 20th so it's uh 4 20 right uh <laughs> outside of the us everybody says the 20th 24 right the, the, you don't start with the month, right? But in the U.S., you do 420, right? <laughs> so it's funny that it came out that day. It doesn't come out on that day every single time. It's just a predicted date, right? It it depends on the, the blocks, right? But I just found that funny that it's happening on that day. If you don't know what a, April 20th is, Google it. <laughs> um, and so interesting, interesting scenario. Of course, Bitcoin is basically... The same area, um, you know, also a little bit, you know, a little bit under. Uh, but, you know, if, if, we're, if we're looking at it, you could say that, you know, we're seeing a, um, a kind of, um, let's say it, um, you know, 
a negative pennant here, right? A bearish pennant. Uh, but again, if this decides to break up, then break to the upside, then, you know, uh, potentially big movements. If we're looking at the stochastic full, also in Bitcoin, it's very oversold. But that does not mean that it will go up. Historically, we've seen that it can go up, but you can see like this zone here, it was for a, f a week and a half or two weeks, it was on the bottom level. So that doesn't mean that it's for sure going to go up. In the end, it did go up, right? Um, but it stayed in this zone for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about a week or so, right? So we could be stuck here. Again, a lot has to do with the geopolitical situation, I think, more than the having, interestingly, uh, this time around, because investors are scared, right? So, you know, thinking about it, we should have a situation where Bitcoin, where crypto is, you know, a store of value against the dollar or fiat. But we're seeing that investors that maybe over, a little bit overexpose themselves in anticipation of uh, Bitcoin having saw a little bit of a geopolitical fear, uh, saw a little bit of sell-off, saw, you know, the Fed, CPI, uh, interest rates and things like that. And we're like, okay, let me reduce a little bit. And they sold and moved into fiat, right? So it's an interesting scenario that we're seeing. Historically, people will say, well, every single having, there's some kind of sell-off and, you know, the danger zone and the reaccumulation phase and all that. And that's, and that's you know, that could be true, right? Um, but uh, also, you know, the geopolitical situation has a lot to do with, with what's happening. Now, you can take advantage of it. Listen, you can take advantage of movements to the upside and to the downside. Um, you know, if you see that, uh, for example, Bitcoin bounced off or you see, you know, you're, you see gold is suddenly spiking. Usually when gold spikes, somebody knows something's happening and they're buying a lot of gold. And that could potentially mean some geopolitical shenanigans, right? If you are interested in taking advantage of those kinds of movements, our partner Margex gives you that opportunity uh, to leverage your positions. So basically you can do up to 100x on Bitcoin, 25x on Shiba Inu, but 100x is a lot. <laughs> um, and you need to know that with leverage, you can make a lot of money, but you can lose a lot of money. So you need to be very, very careful with leverage. I've been on both sides of the coin. I've made a lot of money, but I lost a lot of money. Um, so there's risks and reward to using leverage. It's not for everybody. Uh, you can go long in the market. You can go short on the market. So it's okay. You know, if you have a long position, you think that the market is going down, you can short the, you know, the market. It's, it's, you know, it's kosher. It's not, <laughs> it's not taboo. Uh, some people don't like to think about, oh, shorting the market, right? It's not really the same as shorting a company. Um, but uh, it, it does, you know, have short-term negative effect, but you know, I'm, I'm all with making money both ways, okay? And so link is in the description down below. I'll get a little bit commission if you use my link. You will get $50 once you sign up, plus another $50. Uh, once you deposit $100, that will go to your commissions, plus you get another 20% kicker on your deposit if you use my code and put it in your wallet here. Um, so like I said, uh, leverage trading is is potentially profitable, but it was also potentially very, very risky. I'll link at the end of this video to a, a video that explains a little bit more about leverage and the, the platform. Uh, so link is in the description down below. Please, please, please trade responsibly. So what did Elon Musk recently do? If you don't know, like if you're new to the market, uh, Elon had a big effect on what was happening in the crypto market in 2020, 2021. And many of his tweets right, or what he said, uh, had surges in meme coins, in specific Dogecoin and Shiba Inu, right, and since then, the influence has gone down a little bit, I think since the SNL, you know, crescendo uh, for, for Dogecoin, of course, uh, Shiba Inu had a secondary uh, run after that in November of 2021, the, 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 first, the first crescendo was in May of 2021, if, if you remember, uh, and then, of course, we had uh, the the secondary run up, right? Um, as you can see here, right? it's kind of wonky, right? Um, because of how it, it it went up and um, on Coinbase graph, so it's I don't know, it's kind of weird, right? But you can see it ran up, it pulled back, and then it had the secondary run in October, November. Um, since then, he hasn't really had huge effects. Like he has had effects, you know, when he bought Twitter, uh, it it pumped a little bit, and when he uh, you know, here in this in this zone, uh, if you remember, he tweeted something like looked like Shiba Inu or was like a Shiba Inu 
dog or it was it a emoji and that like kind of triggered a lot of things um the question is is he going to start with his shenanigans once again uh, i am uh on the school of i do not like this right because i would rather or was it here with the dogs i don't remember but <laughs> anywho I don't like when he does this. Why? Because it is uh, fake movements. What do I mean by fake movements? It is a hype movement that more times than none will enter or will uh, be a gateway for newer investors that see the pump happening. They don't know why the pump is happening, right? They see the pump happening. Elon pumps it up, right? Uh, and then it just sells off. This has not been good for Dogecoin and it's not been good for Shiba Inu as well. I would much rather the breakouts have more of a technical nature, have more of a logical nature, right? Logical nature, new people coming to the crypto market looking for something to invest, see Do Dogecoin, see Shiba Inu, see Dogcoin, see meme coins, and they're like, okay, let's invest in this. That makes more logic, right? <laughs> then Elon Musk tweeting, uh, you know, something about uh, Elon Musk, the mainstream media having to cover Dogecoin as a top 10 crypto, right? And I don't know, Dogecoin popping 20%, but then the next day it fall, everything falls off because algos take advantage of this tweet, pop it up, you buy, and then they sell off and make the profit on your back, right? I don't like those kinds of movements. I, I would much rather have it a little bit more technical based, a little bit more market based, right? than Elon coming in and coming out and making these tweets and we see a pop-up, but then it, it doesn't last, right? Um, so I would rather him, I would rather him, for example, do something that's beneficial for Dogecoin, for example. Uh, he, he recently uh, stated uh, that uh, new people in Twitter uh, would have to pay a, uh, some you know, fee to be able to tweet and, and do all the things and like and share. So if he comes out and says, hey, uh, that new fee needs to be in Dogecoin, needs to be in Shiba Inu, needs to be in, in Bitcoin, right? That would help the crypto market. That would give uh, utility to these assets, right? Uh, on massive utility and, and you know, massive uh, publicity. If he just you know, makes a tweet like this and it ch jumps up 20, 25% because of it, there's no real meat behind that, right? So I'd much rather you know, him giving utility to the crypto market in that way, uh, whereas, um, you know, other ways. Now, he probably has a lot in his mind. Tesla stock is is, is is like the worst performing stock of the year in the S&P 500. It's not looking good. Um, so he has to think, you know, focus more on that and focus more on his companies and less on Dogecoin and Shiba Inu, you know, <laughs> for, for better or for worse. And so it'll be very interesting to see uh, where the crypto market goes here today, uh, geopolitical situation, what, what's up with that, right? Uh, it's kind of dragging out. You'd rather, it, we'd rather have an answer, right? Then, you know, wait for a week or two and, you know, everybody's like, hurry up and wait. Everybody's, you know, people are afraid to, to maybe, uh, you know, get back into the positions if, you know, Israel is going to react and how is Iran going to react and how uh, everything around that, what's going to happen. So people a little bit, uh, you know, sitting on their hands right now. So be interesting to see when and how the reaction is going to come uh, and how that will affect the crypto market. Very, very interesting uh, situation. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel and you come back to see my beautiful face, <laughs> subscribe now, smash the like button, check out the links in the description down below. Remember, not financial advice, always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. And if you are interested in leverage, here's the video where I explain uh, a little bit about it. Uh, again, please trade responsibly, not financial advice, of course. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, <laughs> let's make a lot of money.